Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So in today's Cucumber video, guys, we are going to talk about what do you mean by regular expression and the Cucumber expression in Cucumber BDD framework. So Cucumber supports uh, two types of expressions. One is a regular expression and second one is the Cucumber expression, which is actually introduced in, I think, in Cucumber 2 or 3 in 2017. And uh, before that, if you have used Cucumber 1 in my previous uh, videos also, we were using uh, a typical regular expression in the feature file and sorry, from the feature file to step definition file. Regular expression means like this, between zero to nine characters I want, and then uh, numeric digits I want, the string digits, uh, numeric characters or alphanumeric characters I want, like that. But now they support a Cucumber expression also, but there are certain rules are defined. The first rule is that a step definition will be generating by default with Cucumber expression only. It means, let's see, I have written this particular search dot feature over here, right? This particular Apple MacBook Pro as a string and then price is equal to 1000. When you create the step definition file from the console, when you run it from the console, it will generate the step definition file for you, right? And then if you go to the uh, search steps over here, okay? So by default earlier you have seen that let's see for this it's creating bracket like this a string and a string so let me write it once again over here that by default it will create a string and then for integer parameters it will create integer in a bracket over here like that okay or sometimes you will see int also both are same thing so what does it mean it means whenever you see over here that for Apple MacBook will be converted as a cucumber expression. So this is called cucumber expression. This is not a typical regular expression. Same thing, the price is uh, denoted by one curly bracket and with integer. So automatically this particular step will be created by cucumber and then you can do that. For example, let's see, I'm writing one more uh, then over here. And then I simply say that your order order ID is something one, two, three, four, five. And I want to create a step definition. So just try to see that, okay, your order ID is one, two, three, four, five. And I simply say that username is in double quotes. I'm writing, let's see Naveen over here, right? So for this, it will create integer and for this, it will create a string. So I'm gonna run it. And then on the console, you will see that what kind of suggestion it will give you in the form of the step definition. So just simple, go to run configuration and uh, from select this particular Cucumber configuration, Cucumber practice, search dot feature we have to select and click on run. You see the console output that it's saying uh, this implementation is missing and you try to copy this implementation, go back to your step definition and then you simple paste it over here and you see this, it's saying your order ID is integer and the username is a string. So that's that's why I'm saying that the first point I've written, the step definition will be generating Cucumber expression by default, right? It does not generate a regular expression by default, okay? Second thing is that, but you can use regular expression also in your step definition file. It means in the same step definition file, for some methods or for some steps I can use a cucumber expression over some other methods I can use a normal regular expression also I can do that I can combine both the things together in my step definition file but the thing is you can mix both the regular expression in the step definition file but you cannot mix both expression in single step definition method in a particular step definition method you cannot use Cucumber expression and the regular expression together. It, what I'm saying is, let's see in this particular example, here you are using Cucumber expression and let's see for integer, you cannot use regular expression over here. For example, the regular expression, let's see, I'm writing for this guy like this. Let's see for digits, I'm writing D and then plus over here. Okay, the moment I write it, immediately it will start giving you error over here and then you go to search feature, this line got flagged over here. It means you are doing it wrong. And the moment I make it to back to it means this is a cucumber expression and this is a regular expression. Both the things in the same definition method, I cannot use that. Remember very important point over here. That is what I have written over here in my notes that 
you cannot mix both expressions in the same step definition method but you can do let's see for this particular method i want to use regular expression and for this particular method i want to use cucumber expression that you can do it but for the same method both the things you cannot do it so let me remove this d and back it to integer save it error is gone and then from the search feature also again it's absolutely fine it is not flagged over here right okay then this example string is the cucumber expression other example like uh, you can write like integer also double float if you really want to create a floating value you can create floating value also like that for more cucumber expression you can go to their uh, official documentation and you can check it more uh, cucumber expressions over there and we will see in the upcoming chapters also now regular expression so regular expression is nothing like specific to cucumber if you're using java so you can use java regular expressions and it's a standard uh, uh, things to fetch out some value from the from the different strings and they are very very powerful in terms of getting the values from a long string let's see from the email body content i want to capture only the uh, links let's say i want to capture that okay my transaction id from a particular string message i can give a regular expression that okay yeah transaction id could be six digit or eight digit or ten digit or order id or username or something like this i want to fetch out so you can create a strong regular expressions over there and then you can accordingly get it so to create the regular expression couple of things guys you have to understand that these are these brackets are called capture group can you see that and this is a range of the group zero to nine let's see that i have given what do you mean by this so this is the regular expression it means in within this particular capture group i want zero to nine digits okay so it will tell that okay yeah zero to nine digits will appear within this particular capture group now there are different quantifiers are available so you have to understand what are the different quantifiers in a regular expression quantifiers means there are four types of quantifiers generally we use it plus then we use asterisk then we use a question mark and then we use put a bracket and total number of occurrences we have to pass it over here for example i'm writing zero to nine in this particular capture group this curly i mean this a normal parenthesis i'm writing right these two brackets i'm writing zero to nine in a square bracket with plus it means between zero to nine digits it might occur more than once or more it means once or more it might occur so what do you mean by quantifiers in regular expression define how many times a character needs to be occurred so i let me write it for if someone is asking you what do you mean by quantifiers quantifier means how many times okay a character needs to be occurred okay so this a uh, define like this so if i write this is called plus plus is the quantifier it means i want once or more than once between this zero to nine digits will appear for example what do you mean by this if i write zero to nine four means four times four digits will be appeared okay and means total number of digits that you want so it means between zero to nine generate four digits it could be any digits like zero 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 triple uh, double nine double nine one two one two three four five six double eight double eight but any four digits between zero to nine range then we have star star means zero or more it means nothing and more it means it will generate the zero up uh, zero count or uh, zero occurrence or more than zero occurrence it will do that same thing question mark zero or once it will generate it means at least nothing and then maximum it will generate once only that's it okay so these are the quantifiers are available and you don't need to understand you don't need to learn the complete full flash a uh, regular expression guys but minimal knowledge about regular expression that is a uh, more than enough okay so that's why i have written my notes over here so that uh, you can refer and then you can learn accordingly same thing let's see i have one more <clears throat> these are called a uh, shortened characters okay for every regular expression which is defined with a uh, shorthand characters so i would say these are my shortened characters let's see a uh, d 
is for numeric digits. So if you search this term on Google, I'll take this particular on Google. I'll simply go to Google, let's see. And I simply say that shortened characters in regular expression. So here you will see that uh, you can pick any particular website and here you will see that a different shortened characters are available over here. So for example, let's see backslash D. Backslash D means adds all the digits to the character class like this. So this is backslash D, backslash W, backslash uh, S is available over here. So backslash uh, D means it matches a single digit character. Backslash uh, W means it matches a word character. It could be alphabetic word, it could be numeric word, it could be underscore also, it will match, all right? A backslash S means all the white spaces to the character, including uh, tabs, end of line, etc. you can do that. Right, so these are the three, uh, three uh, I would say, shortened characters generally we use. Backslash D for digits, backslash W for all the words, and backslash S is uh, for the white spaces, uh, tabs, and end of line characters, we can do that. So you don't need to remember each and everything. Whenever it's needed, you can simply come over here and you can check it. You can check other websites also. They have better uh, app, uh, websites. You can go to O'Reilly.com as well. Uh, you can check it over here. Backslash D means a digit between zero to nine like that okay capital d means a non-digit number and backslash w means a word character over here like that so i'll just uh, refer this particular site url over here you can refer this for all the shorthand characters you can get it from this particular website now as i told you this is for numeric digits and if you write plus and plus over here it means shorthand operator if you're writing it means uh anything any numeric uh, digits will appear uh, more than once once or more than once it will generate right okay another example let's see if i'm writing that uh, this is my capture group a bracket and then i'll write that okay i want a character between a small a to small z capital a to capital z and then between zero to nine and how many characters you want i simply write a plus over here uh, as a quantifier so my quantifier will be plus over here plus means once or more than more than once so it will generate the characters between small a to small z capital a to capital z and zero to nine more than once okay it means so like that so accordingly you can guys uh, create your regular expressions and then along with the quantifiers and use in your uh, step definition point now i'll go back to my search steps and let's try a couple of things over here as I told you, cucumber expression and the normal uh, regular expression cannot be together in the same step definition method. So if you really want to use, let's see, I really want to use that any kind of uh, uh, digit I want, any kind of numeric digit I want, right? So I simply say that I'll put a bracket over here and that is denoted by slash backslash a D and then more than once I want. But here you are getting an error. It means java does not understand java syntax does not understand that okay what exactly this is called invalid escape sequence so you have to introduce one escape character over here with backslash d over here like that and the error is gone so this is the regular expression it means java does not understand that i'll repeat once again java does not understand what exactly the meaning of this backslash a d right so for this to escape this character you have to use backslash over here now this. So backslash D is for any numeric digit plus means this is my quantifier that is once or more than once and then this is for escape character and this is my capture group over here. So for example, if I'm passing thousand over here, the thousand will be alterated as a with this particular regular expression. But again, we are getting error because of this string. We cannot make them together. This is cucumber expression. So let's remove this particular string and write a typical regular expression over here. So for typical regular expression for the string, what I want that, first of all, you see this particular search dot feature and it's saying that Apple MacBook Pro, it could be any string tomorrow. It could be Samsung, it could be any product, but this product is written within double quotes. So we have to write a regular expression within double quotes first of all. So I'll write within double quotes, but again, 
Java is assuming that okay, you have already started this particular string and which is ended over here. So this string will be treated like a ended string. No, so that's why we have to introduce one more escape character as backslash for both the strings for both the double quotes. And then I'll create a capture group like this. And in this particular capture group, what do you want? I'll put a square bracket and then I want that other than what? Other than double quotes. I want to ignore the other okay double quotes. It means give me any set of characters which is other than double quote. Right because uh, in my Apple MacBook we don't have any double quote available over here. So I want to ignore that particular. I want to escape that particular double quote also. So that's why I have to put one more backslash over here. Right. It means other than. Double quotes. So to doing this we have to use one carrot spatial character over here as well. So if you have seen cucumber two three years back, we used to use this particular a regular expression over there and any kind of character we want. So let's say I'm putting a star over here like that. OK, and then you go to your search dot feature. Uh, let me check it once again. This is the right expression or not. All right, let's see plus over here instead of star. Let's see plus. Simple save it. Let's check it once again. Am I missing anything? This is fine. This is fine. And uh, yeah, this is has to be written. This has to be written over here. Okay. And uh, let's see. Yeah, see, this is not flagged now. It means it got captured. It means this is the right step definition that I have written. Now, if you run this particular search dot feature, let's see. It is a taking Apple MacBook with price as thousand or not. So run configuration and simple run it and let's see. And see the console and it's saying somewhere one error over here. I'll tell you what do you mean by this error. It's saying cucumber exception we are getting. It's saying that this step is defined with two parameter and some error we are getting. So and it's saying however the gherkin step has zero argument. So how to solve this particular problem guys whenever you want to use a regular expression. What you have to do in your step definition you have to start with carrot and end with a dollar over here. Remember this thing if you remember in my previous video two three years back that I prepared in cucumber one and cucumber two you used to use these regular expressions but starting with this carrot and ended with this particular dollar. Now let's run this particular search dot feature and let's see it is working or not. So run as cucumber feature. Oh, sorry run as configuration. Uh, run configuration. Select this particular feature file and then run it. And let's see the output this time and this time it's saying there are no errors and absolutely working fine. Although it's giving you pending exception because the last step we haven't given any. Okay, we are throwing the pending exception over here. So let it me let me remove this guy and I'm not writing any step over here. Right now let's run it again. You will get the clear picture. Right click on it run configuration and simple run it again. And now so you see the console output all the four steps are absolutely fine without giving any error and you see the step number two guys. It's absolutely taking Apple MacBook Pro and the thousand over here. It means this Apple MacBook Pro is replaced by a regular expression in my search step. With this regular expression and the price thousand replaced by this a digit over here. Now, if we really want to change something else, let's see Apple instead of Apple MacBook Pro, I simply write Apple MacBook Air and instead of thousand, let's say I'm writing $200. In that case, let's see it is picking the same value or not. So that is the advantage of regular expressions. You will be getting it. You run it and let's see. You can see the console. It's absolutely working fine with Apple MacBook Pro Air. Sorry, MacBook Air and price is 200. <coughs> Fine. So this is how guys we can write one expression. If we notice both are regular expressions which is allowed according to the rules. Now here I'm using one integer and one string. They both are cucumber expression. This is also absolutely allowed. But the moment I make this particular string. Let's say I take this particular uh, string over here. With this guy. 
right? And then <clears throat> I simple write something. Then it will not work because one is integer and one is. A regular expression, so this won't work. So this is not allowed. So I'm not running it unnecessary like that. So the rule is remember these four rules guys. The step definition I'll quickly recap will be generating by default with cucumber expression in the latest cucumber. We are using cucumber six. It means whenever we are generating the step definition from the cucumber feature file, it will generate the cucumber expression, not the regular expression. But you can use the regular expression also in your step definition file. You can mix both regular expression and the cucumber expression in your step definition file, but you cannot mix both the expressions in the same step definition method. And these are the basic regular expressions, capture group, quantifiers, and the shorthand characters I have explained. So that's all for this particular video, guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video with some new examples and new uh, concepts of the cucumber. Please share this video with others who are learning the actual use case of cucumber. And we will be doing a lot of cucumber features. My major concentration initially on the cucumber features. We can easily write cucumber with selenium in upcoming chapters. That is definitely we will do that. But before that, these small, small things you really need to understand with respect to cucumber. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you're learning something from these videos and let me know if you have any issues. Till then, take care and thanks for watching Navin Automation Labs.